Oh, look who's just joining us. We told you we had a surprise guest. We got one for Dave there, too. Hold on, Pat, we're going right. to, so we can hear you. Can you hear me, Greg? Say something. Can I hear you? I yeah. Am. I can, I can hear, hear you. you. Hold on. Can't hear me? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. There we go. We got you. Now we can you hear got you. Me. Okay, good. Guys, we are we are so lucky right now. We are joined by the Patrick Harrington, Ryder Cup captain. Patrick, we've been doing a level one seminar. We've showed okay. your swing a couple of times. We showed some <laughs> of your physical screens. What they don't know is I did a bunch of Photoshop to make you look really good. So I just want you to know they think you passed I, everything. Oh, I hope I'm skinny. <laughs> so so first of all, thanks so much for tuning in. Guys, we thought this would be a really cool surprise. Patrick has been somebody who is, has been, you know, in, in relation with Dave and I and TPI for so many years and could probably teach this class. And uh, so I, we, we, we talked a lot about the team approach, Patrick. And okay. what I'd like to do is on this, on this class, we have medical professionals, fitness professionals, and golf coaches. From somebody who's worked with a lot of teams, a lot of people, could you, let's first and foremost, right now, name me your team. Like, who, who's helping you? Oh. Well, it's interesting because I've evolved. When Basically, at all stages during my career, I picked the best team that I could have around me. So when I was in Ireland, I had the best physio in Dublin. I had the best, uh, you know, coach. I had the best psychologist. All the teams in my locality. And as I got bigger and bigger, obviously I could branch out and get access to greater people there's one person who stayed with me the whole time and that's Liam Hennessy so Liam Hennessy is one of the by the way on our advisory board one of the smartest men on this planet so go ahead yeah yeah basically even though he was in my locality he actually ends up being one of the best in the world so that's he's a permanent fixture fixture and to be honest I would say nobody has more influence over what I do than Liam Hennessy he he's the only that's pretty cool but he's not far off that person. That if he says to me, don't play, I don't play. So my team right. hasn't popped. So, so I, when I was at my height, I had, like all the guys at the peak of their career, you have a bundle of guys around you. You're keen to improve. You're looking for every little marginal gain, every little bit. Now I've slimmed down. I don't need yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me, let me ask this question. So we've got a, we've got a lot of, potential rookies on the, on the call here that are, are looking to do this in the future. They want to go work with players like yourself. What advice would you give to them? Like, like in your team, what did you like? What didn't you like communicating like from all the different, yeah. First and foremost, I really, I seem to always end up with people that love golf, enthusiasm, it's absolute enthusiasm. Like even though Liam Hennessy is no golfer, he still has an enthusiasm for everything sport. Passion. He, 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 he's a, yeah, passion. He's a nice person to be around. And I really, all my golf coaches, I worked with Bob Torrance, who, uh, and I've worked with Pete Cowan now. I've worked with George Yankis. And, and people say, well, no, they don't look like they have anything in common. But as I say, if you met them at a gas station, because I am in America now, I, they would actually <laughs> stop you and give you, if, if I pulled into the gas station, went in to pay the bill, I come back out and I find them coaching somebody in the forecourt, as in they have a passion. So I want that passion. Yeah. But I don't like, I don't mind talking, but I never like when somebody crosses over his field. And that's the one recommendation I could give to, to, to the guys and girls there. Become an expert in your field. Have an opinion about other fields. But I've seen more people lose their job because the physio starts thinking he's the swing coach. The swing coach starts thinking that the putting coach isn't good enough. The psychologist is not good enough. Stay in your own lane. Become an expert at what you do. And then you will be indispensable to the person. And if, he, if the player wants an opinion on other stuff, let him come to you. But I've seen a lot of good people who, in an effort to make their player better, they undermine. It, 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 now, in, I mean, in a good way, they were trying they undermine other people okay. in the team. And that, that battle is, you very, very rarely ever win that battle. When you start undermining. Yeah, well, let, let, me, let, me, and let me point something out that I think is really important is, if let's say Dave says one thing to you, and I wasn't there, and I don't know, and it could be totally harmless, and you come to me and I go, hey, you know, I really think you should be doing this in your swing, and it's the complete opposite of what Dave said. Now I just put doubt in your head that Dave or you're going, wait a minute, and none of this is good, right? It's like, hey, are you guys talking to each other? And 
it, it, it is better to be committed. No doubt about yeah. committed, being committed, being sure of what you do uh, is, is definitely a huge part. And the player should explore what he needs to get from each person in his team. It, it, like, there's no doubt a, a physio can talk to a player and be, and be a shoulder to lean on, be a sympathetic shoulder, you know, and, and they're, they're, you know, a little bit of a psychology. But I definitely have just seen this just too often. When you start taking over roles, it just gets messy. Yeah. Be an expert yeah. in, your, in your field. Awesome. Okay, yeah. so I know we don't want to keep you forever, but I, we couldn't do this without asking this. If there's one person <laughs> on this planet that could give us advice on how to build speed, speed. it's got to be you. It's you. This is, this is like been Come a passion on. of yours your entire career, right? We're waiting for your uh, book. Now, now that you're an I, Instagram star. <laughs> I am, um, yeah. I'm, I'm on a, I, I've done it all. I've done the gym work. I've done the this crossover speed work, which it, it's still fascinating to people that will try and go in the gym and do stuff and think that it crosses over by itself. You know, that magically you're just stronger, so you'll swing it faster. Without even, you know, they go out and swing the same way and think that there's something going to be different. So the crossover is hugely important. And that's, that, that is obviously the key, trying to find what crosses over for each individual. Uh, and, and, you know, while there's always initial success with, an untrained athlete, obviously, as you get older, like myself, it's very hard to find the minute stuff. So I, I still do the gym work. I, I was doing uh, squat jumps today with actually in my mid range of weight, so 80 kilos on my back squat jumping. You know, we myself and Liam screen every week. Even now, we're screening. It's great, actually. We screen screen every Tuesday now on the just on Zoom. My son, actually, my son is 16. He's learning to to wow. spot the differences. So it is, it, yeah, so we screen. I think that's that's one thing I think is essential. I, I think that's moved on. You should screen your player every week because yeah, you why, have to why guess if you up. can assess, right? Yeah, it, and and it really it's 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 motivating for the player. You know, I know. Look, I, I, Liam, my, I I know I struggle with internal rotation on my right side. I struggle with my. Uh, my QL on my right side, and you know, just being reminded, and just keep hitting it, and then you, 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 especially every week, you get to see an improvement as well, which is is, is nice. Yeah. So I do that. Then with Liam, we do a lot of, and we we have done this for. We do a lot of measuring of power output in the gym, so that I'm training in the right area. So whether it could be light or heavy, you know, it could be in the middle. Uh, so I'm not randomly. I, I, I'm not randomly going in there just trying to bulk up or do anything like that. It's, it's really trying to find the power output curve and where I should be at awesome. on that. Uh, so awesome. less work. Awesome. Fantastic. And, and then Patrick. I think... Oh. Go on. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. You can finish. I think outside of that, I think it's trying to find that crossover for me. I, I, I'm on a bit of a, a K-Vest kick at the moment. I'm having a great time with it. And 3D's I'm, looking good. Wait a second. Wait. You don't have one of those K-Vests at your house right now, do you? <laughs> I, I I have I've broken three drivers and split I've split six. six <laughs> this is the danger balls. of letting your players understand technology better than you. So I uh, am, it could be I am three hours of drivers every day. Can you imagine how my body is? And, and look, by the way, do as I say, not as I do, because I'm doing three hours of driver work every day for speed. Nobody can do that. But I'm doing it. <laughs> Nobody can do it. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, hey, yeah. we don't want to keep you forever. We really appreciate you doing this. Don't tell anybody here in the U.S. We're pulling for you. Okay, so don't, don't forget that. <laughs> I tell you what. I like the COVID look, by the way. Yeah, I know. It's, yeah, if you need to borrow a razor, just let us know. We can, did we can you get cut you your own hair? That's it's two weeks of growth. <laughs> I only had a beard shaver, and I used it here and not here. <laughs> wait, hold on a second. Ask about right side bit. Oh, wait. He, uh, Mark Blackburn is asking me to ask about right side bend. Right side, you know what that right means? side bend. I actually think, I've got to say, I think right side bend, for me, I, it's the most underrated thing I've ever, I, I didn't know about. <laughs> and it is everything for me. Like, I've been trying to get myself open. And look, you can't get open unless you counterbalance by having right side bend. The, the more you have right side bend, the higher that left hip gets up and open. It's, it's this a, is why we a, don't let Mark Blackburn talk because it just opens up an entire like, can of worms that we can seminar. kind of go over. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to do PJ Tour Live and Instagram lesson tonight, and I guarantee it, Sidebend will come into it. <laughs> Tune in, PJ Tour. Right. 
Thank uh, you, Patrick. Uh, Thanks wait, for ruining the rest I, of the seminar. Appreciate it. I, I will say, I'm not saying right side bend is good for your back, but not sweet. <laughs> <laughs> all, all right, right. <laughs> you're the best we love we you thanks go. buddy appreciate thanks, it thanks guys thanks, nice Mike. talking to you nice seeing you stay safe you too thank thanks. you you too Take you care. too throw this down all right guys that, we thought that'd be a pretty cool treat he was willing to, to call in and uh in all seriousness uh you know three-time major champion patrick harrington we probably learned more from patrick than we've taught him he's always That's been amazing. a tinkerer i think some of the things i just want to recap a couple of things he said because i kind of said this earlier that Motor patterns are built around physical limitations, and if you just fix them in the gym, they don't magically appear when you play. That's right. Listen to a player saying this, that this is why you have to work together as a team. There's nothing worse than, like, if I'm a strength conditioning coach and I do all this work with the player for three months and I build this incredible body and they don't play better, you're going to go, there's something wrong with me. And I go, well, no, you built a better body, but did they do anything different to use that? You know, like, you I, I'll, give you, I'll give you an example. I.K. Kim, who won the British Open mm -hmm. two years ago, uh, lives here. Uh, she said one year, uh, the year before, she's like, I'm going to try and increase my speed, like Patrick. So mm -hmm. many players go after this. And IK went, got Robert Yang, one of the best strength coaches in the world, on our yep. advisory board, spent four months. And I mean, she transformed, like, she unbelievable, transformed, yeah. right? But then she comes in here and she goes, Greg, I've been doing all this stuff. And I look at my driver, my speed, my club speed, it's still 91 miles an hour. Like, I, no matter what I've done, it can't go faster. And I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, and she was almost to the point where she was like, this is ridiculous. I, why, I've spent so much time trying to get this faster. I feel like I wasted my time. And I'm like, well, what have you done different in your swing? She goes, what do you mean? I go, well, what have you done different? She goes, I didn't do anything different. I just been working in the gym. And I'm like, well, why would, it, why would it go faster? That day she left at 101 miles an hour, right? Mm -hmm. Just by taking some of that new engine and showing her how to use it. That's so important. Very so important. Key.